It's Allie with TL Coffee Gear, and today we're doing a crew review of the Lumberzoco GS3 manual paddle. So this version of their machine is the mechanical paddle, meaning that this directly influences how much pressure is being applied to your espresso um, and for how long. Where they have the same machine in an auto volumetric version, so that'll be a standard nine bar pressure um, where you can hit the button and it will recreate those shots. Um, this one's gonna be fully manual, so those are the differences between those two. Um, so the two styles of machines are gonna be geared for different types of brewing and a different type of customer depending on who you are as well. Um, but basically we're gonna kind of go over the specs, review it, try a shot, and see how it goes. So overall, this machine has been around for a long time and is known for its durability, consistency, also used in some commercial application. Um, if you're interested in this for commercial use, you'll wanna check out our commercial review for that. This one's gonna be a little bit more targeted to the domestic use or home use for that. Um, so overall, we have this in the standard version that it comes in. You can customize it and do different side panels, color, um, everything like that. So they have a lot of different options available to you. Um, but we just did the standard just because we um, think that's probably one of the more popular options. Um, you have a dual walled steam arm here. So basically no burn while you steam your milk. Um, that steam arm won't get as hot as some that don't have this insulation. Um, so it makes it a little bit easier for cleaning. Um, less mess. You do have the uh, standard steam tip though, um, so sometimes the milk can get stuck to this bottom part here, um, so you still want to make sure to wipe that off and everything. It is activated by a lever instead of like um, a dial, which a lot of other machines are. I really like this style over the knob. Um, locks on, locks off. I just think it's nice to just hit it really quick instead of making a couple of turns, but Still a pretty long steam arm, so you're, wanna get a, you're going to want to give it a purge to let all of that condensation out. That's just normal for um, any machine, but a little bit extra for this one. Um, you do have your nice stainless steel portafilter that Lummer Zoco gives you um, with a beautiful double shot basket in there. In the box, this will actually come with a single spout as well um, and a couple of different baskets that you can try out. Five baskets in total, um, a whole bunch of options not worth going over today, but let us know if you have any questions about that. Comes with water test kit, so you can make sure you're feeding this machine the proper water. It's stainless steel boiler, so super important that you check that. Comes with the cleaning supplies, their own branded. User manual here that you can flip through. Beautiful steaming pitcher, which is nice. And a convex um, tamper. So very hard to see with, you know, the camera, I'm sure, but um, it's got a little bit of a curve to it. So it's not going to be like your flat. Um, Lumber Zoko says this gives a little bit more um, surface area for your shots. So you should be getting better quality ones. So that's just kind of what they do here. This is a nice little metal. It's really heavy. I like it. Anyway, back to the machine. So this paddle activates at your disposal there. Um, it's got the pressure gauge on top to tell you what's going on. But if you notice, it's actually giving you the true reading of what's going on in the brew head. So I don't have any coffee in there. There's no pressure that's getting uh, built up inside. You also have two gauges over here, the service boiler gauge that will tell you when the machine is up to temp and ready to use. You also have the pump gauge. You can see it goes all the way up to 12. Um, this fluctuates, but it's not telling you what's going on in the brew group. That is this little um, uh, gauge right there. So um, that would be why those are different. You do have some buttons on the side. So there's some programming that you can get into inside the machine to change water temperature, um, volumetrics on the hot water tap or for tea. Um, you can do a lot of programming in there. We're not gonna get into that today. Um, we're just gonna focus on the general. Very large drip tray here. A liter and a half, I believe, is how much it holds. So plenty big enough for lots of use, back-to-back -back use. You also have a three and a half liter um, water reservoir beneath the machine. So that's nice. You pull it out for front access. A um, lot easier than if you have cabinets, you know, you're trying to reach around in the back. So that's a nice feature. This machine is plumbable. It has a rotary pump 
commercial grade rotary pump. It even comes with some of the hoses you need um, to do that. But make sure you're getting the filter right. Sorry, I'm always bad about putting these uh, drip trays back in. Make sure you're getting the right filter if you're gonna plumb it in. Still important that you have that going into the machine. Um, yeah, and make sure you get professional copy technician to do that as well. Um, so we've kind of gone over some of the features of the machine. We didn't talk about how the hot water has a mix valve. So that will add not only the hot water, but add some cold water into it. So it's not gonna sputter as much out when it comes out where some of the other machines don't have that temperature regulation. Um, so won't be as hot, nicer for Americanos, things like that. So um, I think that's all the specs here. It does have a nice little locking mechanism for the drip tray so you know it won't come out too easily. Uh, let's just make a drink. I think we're ready. I've set this up here with the Atom 75. This grinder is really nice um, and that's a, an important part of having a high quality machine like the GS3. The Atom 75 is one of the higher end grinders that we sell. Um, 75 millimeter burrs, infinite adjustment. You want a really nice grinder with a machine like this so you can get the best results possible. Um, so keep that in mind if you're interested. So, I don't know why I just put that back in. Sorry, drying it off. Using the Akaya Pearl S today. Also using AKA Roasters, their FTW blend. Sorry, I have too much coffee in there. I dialed it in at 18 grams, but I forgot to reduce the time. 18.2, I will take. Um, something else that Lumber Zoco does is for their porta filters, they actually have something called breakaway spouts. Um, so if you try to tamp on the counter like this, um, these will actually break away. Um, that's intentional, so you don't damage these. These are really nice porta filters. They're expensive. Um, so you'll want to tamp. It gives you a little ledge here. That's actually going to be the better place. So just set it on the counter like that. Try to be as even as possible. Okay. So for this shot and the way that I dialed it in, when you do pressure profiling, you're going to go a little bit finer than usual because you want to be able to play around with that pressure. For, and it uh, usually makes the extraction a little bit slower as well. Okay, so I'm watching my time here. I've got my weight on my Akaya scale um, and I'm watching the pressure happen here. So what I'm going to do is a quick little pre-infusion. It should hit around the three bar, um, but you might not see it right away because by the time I'm done with my pre-infusion. It'll be time uh, to kick it up. All right, so five seconds there and then kicked it up. So hitting nine bars now. There we go, that's looking really nice. And this is a really nice espresso, really easy to dial in. I was surprised by that. Um, it's got some caramel, I think they say caramel and nuts, yeah. So it's just super um, easy to get in the ballpark. That finished at 25 seconds, 37 grams. So usually I would try, I like to go a little bit longer on my shot. So if I was gonna make some more adjustments, I might try that out. But this looks pretty good. It's got a really nice crema. I love this little Amarzoco espresso cup. That's delicious, yeah. So super caramelly. I feel like there's nothing harsh about this espresso. And that's, to me, I get that result anytime I use like a pre-infusion or a ramp up. It just really like makes something about this coffee super smooth, creamy. This is the first time I've had it as espresso and it's pretty good. Mm. So love that. I'm gonna prep another shot for my latte and then we'll do a steam drink and be right back. Perfect, okay, so I've got a nice fresh shot here with lots of crema on it. Step over. Um, the steam on this is pretty powerful. It's got a special forearm, uh, four hole steam tip. So 
bear with me on my milk. So with a lot of, um, or a strong steam arm, you shouldn't need to aerate too much and that's always my downfall. Sometimes just a second or two is all you need. So I'm gonna be as quick as I can to wipe that off. But if you left it for a second, it would give you some grace there. Not too bad. I'm gonna pour my first little dollop off just because it's usually always the part with the most um, blob, most likely to blob. So I messed that up, but the milk was great. Got a little eager. So yeah, I mean, this is a gorgeous espresso machine. What can I say? I mean, it'll last you years and years. Um, you'll probably always have this if you maintain it and keep up with it really well. Um, it's gonna give you a lot of flexibility with your shots, with your steam. You could open a coffee cart with this if you wanted to down the road. Um, and overall, it's, it's really high end, you know, so you're not gonna be disappointed. I will say it's complicated to get shots right, or it's complicated to get shots consistent on this machine back to back because it is manual paddle. So this is more for the experiential kind of coffee drinker. You're okay with getting a little bit of flexibility in your drinks. Maybe one day, you know, it's amazing. The next day it's not so great, but um, that's part of the fun and getting to learn, you know, um, all the different parts of the espresso and how to, how to get those flavors out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscri subscribe, comment below, and let us know if you have any questions about the Lover's Oko GS3. Um, we'd be happy to help. Thanks. Bye.